welcome back. She Man, My World 67. Well, it's been a few days since we've uh, done anything, and so we had to take a little hiatus as I had a lot of work that I had to get done around here, and some other things had come up, and we got caught up on those things, and so now we can get back to uh, working on this Hiawatha uh, tender. And I started taking out the uh, screws out of the uh, top. And we'll put them in a little container. Set it to the side. And when you take those tools out, those screws out of the top of on these particular tenders, the way American Flyer did it in this pre-war years, the uh, screws actually held this unit in place. Now this is your horn uh, relay. This, this is the whole mechanism. Uh, it has the motor and uh, everything right there now some of these were regulated by AC and some of them were regulated by DC we're going to test this a little later on and we're going to see uh, if it still functions and what we need to possibly do to it to make it function if we can. The inside of that's not too bad a shape. It's a little dirty. But uh, dirtier than I thought here. A little gunk down in there. Okay, well, the outside of it, as you have seen previously, uh, I'll give you a little close-up of it. we got rust and wear. The overall condition, th though, is, is really good. It's, it's not all dented, uh, not in really bad shape at all. With the exception exception of the rust and the rear, uh, the trucks are rusty. The journals, of course, are oxidized, and they're brass journals, like we have on the engine. And we're going to redo uh, the trucks. We're going to take those wheels off. We'll get it cleaned up. Uh, it also has the contactor for the, the horn relay and uh, the horn unit. And we're going to get that cleaned up and do a little sanding, uh, a little light sanding, good cleaning, and get this ready to repaint. Take that off. Get it cleaned up. Yeah. There we go. Thought I was going to have to get a bigger screwdriver. This probably has a nut on it. So we'll get this all broke down and 
get it cleaned up. We'll come back with a part two to this video and show the parts. in their cleanup stages. We'll probably clean those screws up too. They're pretty pretty rusty, pretty dusty. Oh, there's one truck down. Can't keep the screwdriver in the slot on this one. The slot doesn't look like it's damaged or worn. It's just I think my screwdriver is just a little too small. Well, we're going to have to put a little penetrating oil on that one and let it sit for a little while. Come back. With a bigger head screwdriver. And try it again. So we're going to do a little time lapse on that. Okay. So we got it. Hit take the pliers and. With a bigger screwdriver. That nut was just a little bit rusted. Just enough. It was hard to turn. And so, we've got the truck loose now. With the pickup, we've got the front truck off, we've got the coupler off. All we have left is the shell. Now there's another screw down on the inside of this that has a clip, and I don't know whether you can see that or not. And the other end of this goes into this clip, and that grounds it, uh, gives it a sure ground. And that's what causes it to work in conjunction with the uh, contact on the middle rail. Okay. Well, that's it for now. 
I'm going to take these parts and get them all cleaned up, put some things to soak uh, for a little bit, and we'll be back. with another video, part two of the American Flyer Tender Breakdown Repaint and Rebuild. As always, happy rails until we meet again.